Down here in Miami, you gotta have a thumb. It's like, they don't even give you respect. Even if you pull up with a 73, 72, 74, Nah, it's gotta be a 71. Half the people don't know what this is, bro. You tell people what a La Cab is, they don't even know what it is. They don't know the history, they don't know nothing about it. This one right here is one out of uh, 300 made. Maybe the one, maybe the, probably the cleanest one out there that I've seen. If you can prove me wrong, feel free to pull up. As far as this caddy goes, is this for sale? Uh, in my page, everything I post is for sale. You know, um, if the bag is right, like uh, this one is one of, uh, one of the 300 made. They were made up to 82, 80, 81, 82, considering the, they're the, the rarest ones. Those are the ones that you can hardly find, but it's hard to find a lead cap regardless. This is my second one. The, there's another one right now getting painted. And this one is also, this one I just don't want to hurt. It's all original, original paint, original interior, top down, AC cold. And you know, I'd rather just leave it the way it is. It's an original car, it's original one time, man, not two times. Was this from the original owner? Yeah, this car was originally from San Francisco and uh, it was purchased at an estate sales. I ended up picking up this car from Huntington, New York. Same deal, I called the guy, we made an agreement, and the next day I was there, truck and trailer, and the rest is history, you know? Now we brought it to Miami, Put her a little twist on it, tint. You gotta have them in Miami. Hot, it's too hot out here, you know. And of course, the all gold things. Can't go wrong with them. Tell me about those reverses coming on here. Uh, that's uh, that's something else that's getting worked on right now. Um, we actually have two sets coming in for two lead caps. The the other one is a black one that's getting worked on. So we are planning to have them both out before December. The one set it's already done. The other one just waiting on date. classics out of Miami all original cars everything could be painted but it's only original ones people right now paying a hundred thousand dollars for dogs but you tell them eighty thousand dollars for a pro touring Camaro and they'll say no when the Camaro is gonna hold weight any day any day of the week you know it's just it's all right now popularity man that's what sells shit and it's up because it washes down everything you know it's not all about dunks man it's a big world out there, right? Yeah. It's 
It's a big world out there, man. It's not all about dogs, you know. It's you got so tell you gotta think outside the box and be able to come up with shit, you know. Everybody's doing the same shit, so that's why I've been fing with candy on chrome for about a good 15 years now. Since digital wheel days, underground grim carry bro. A lot of back history. In the day, a lot of history, man. Before y'all even knew what a dunk was. Most of y'all were probably barely even had a car at that, you know? In high school, middle school, we've been fing with candy on chrome for a while. You can you can go back and say where it started. Digital <laughs> wheels, man. Digital wheels. I bet you most of y'all didn't have a screen name back then. We had one, it was hatering. And niggas are still hating to this day. But shit, that's what it takes, man. That's what it takes to get to get somewhere live. Well, fuck it, that's what it is. It's a lot of history, man. A lot of history in this car. Yep. <laughs> it's a long relationship. She's crazy, man. Is it ain't like before? Before you just jump on, do a little, you know, a little message board, tap your little messages, post pictures of cars and shit like that. You had niggas racing out in the streets. Now, if you don't got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar motor, you can't compete with these people, man. It's yeah, it's a different ballgame, but it takes the fun out of shit, you know, because you want to compete with regular people, you know? You don't want to compete with celebrities. $150,000, not everybody got $150,000 to spend on a car. Everybody got twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to play with, so that's that's where it counts, you know? Let's all be in the same page and all fucking bring back to the roots, man. Man, i just like to have this on camera. You know, the fun isn't the same at this high budget level as it was back in those early days. That's the, the one thing that I've noticed. It's not, it's not. Now to compete with anybody, compete with anybody. Now if if you don't have $10,000 in your pocket, you can't race somebody. How about if I want to race you for fun, for bragging rights? How about I just want to race you to whoop your ass? Nah, what, if I don't have 10 grand in my pocket, I can't race, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. You want to run it, we'll run it. Something else coming out too at the lab, but We'll keep it a secret, but you can pull up, cause I am. So something, something in the lab. <laughs> yes, sir. 71, another 71 coming out. Another knee cap coming out. Um, 57 Bel Air drop. You know, a bunch of shit. Just trying to, you know, just trying to think outside the box, man. We've been thought in the box. We've been half box Chevys 15 years ago, 30 inch clears. It's nothing no more, man. Just gotta have style for once, you know? That shit gets jacked all the time, so you don't see it. It's like a six to eight hundred dollar emblem, at least. All they do is steal them things, so it's rare you see them on there. You know, it's a little things like that that sets it apart from the rest of them, you know? There's no overspray on my doors. It's just, you know, you can go through my interior, interior's not crashed, no cracks, no cracks in the dash, seats are perfect, power top. The Brand car was born. There's no fade on my Dayton's. So basically, the company has an eyes and heart, takes it, and they make it into a Le Cab. They cut it, they reinforce it, they do what they gotta do to make it into a Le Cab. That's where you see the front emblem, and as you see on the door, it says it right there. Yeah. All I ever wanted was some gold.
All I ever wanted was some gold dicks. All I ever wanted was some gold dicks. Young nigga looking up the OGs. That little shit ain't cutting it no more. Staggers or nothing.